Lesson six. So our learning target today is I will find one ten and one hundred thousand more and less than a given number. So today we're going to begin with the following problems. These are our first dues because they are the most important. We're going to begin with problem 1a, 1b, 3a, 3b, 3c, 3d, 4a, and 4b. So we're going to skip around a little bit. Once we get to the end of 4b, then we're going to go back to all the ones that we skipped. All right, so we're going to start right here with 1A. Go ahead and write your name, and let's take a look at the directions. First, it says label the place value chart. I want you to go ahead and pause the video and label your place value chart, and I'm going to label mine too. Okay, so let's take a look at our place value chart, and let's make sure that our labels are the same. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. Now it says use place values to find the sum or difference. Write the answer in standard form on the line. So we've got to know what does sum mean? Well, hopefully you thought to yourself, sum is the answer to an addition problem. What does difference mean? Well, difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So we're going to be finding the answer to addition problems or subtraction problems, and then we're going to be writing it on the line. So we're going to be using place value disk. So we're going to have to do 10,000 more than 600, 5,472. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to model six hundreds. So I'm going to go to the hundreds, and I'm going to put six hundreds. And then I'm going to put five thousands. So I'm going to go to the thousands. One, two, three, four, five. Four hundreds. One, two, three, four, seventy-two. So that will be seven tens, two ones. So I've got six hundred thousands, no ten thousands, five thousands, four hundreds, seven tens, and two ones. Now it says 10,000 more. So does that mean that I'm adding 10,000 or does that mean that I'm taking away? Well, if I'm putting more, that means that I'm adding. So I'm going to change my color just so that you can kind of see that I'm adding this. So I'm going to go to the 10,000s place and I'm going to add a thousand. So now instead of having no 10,000s, now I'm going to have one. So notice, none of the other digits changed. The only digit that changed in this case was the 10,000s. So now I'm going to write this answer in standard form on the line because that's what it tells me to do. And my new number is 615, the comma tells me to say 1,472. Okay, let's try B. All right, so again, you need to label your place value. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to label my place values and I want you to go and label yours also. Okay, so again, we're gonna come through here and we're gonna label the place value chart. I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna label my place value chart and I want you to label yours as well. Okay, so let's check our labels. You should have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. So this time it says one hundred thousand less than four hundred thousand plus eighty thousand plus a thousand plus thirty plus six. So let's begin the hundred thousands. It says here we have four hundred thousand. So let's come through here and put our four hundred thousands. Then it says we have eighty thousands. So is that 10,000s or thousands? Let's see, do I want to put 80,000s here? Ooh, that would take a long time. I think I'd rather put eight 10,000s because this would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80,000. That's a lot faster. And then I have 1,000, 30. So that would be three tens plus six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I have 
four in the hundred thousands, I have eight in the ten thousands, one in the thousands, no hundreds, three tens, and six ones. So 400,000 plus 80,000 plus 1,000 plus 30 plus six. Now it says 100,000 less. So am I going to add two or am I going to take away? Well, if it says less, that means I'm going to take away. And I'm specifically going to take away 100,000. So I'm gonna to go to the 100,000s and I'm going to take one away. And I'm just going to put an X over it. So now instead of having one, two, three, four hundred thousands, now I only have three hundred thousands. So when I take and subtract a hundred thousand, the only digit that changed was the hundred thousands place. So now my new number is going to be three hundred eighty one thousand thirty six. Alright, so remember we're skipping C, we'll come back, and we're skipping number 2, and we're going straight to number 3. So find number 3 in your problem set. Okay, so this time they've taken away our place value chart. And now we're going to try to add just by looking at the digits here. So I've got 40,000, and I'm going to add 10,000. So where is the 10,000s place? Well, hopefully you said the four is in the ten thousands place. So if I'm adding one ten thousand, then the ten thousands place is going to go up a digit to five. Nothing else is going to change. I just added one to the ten thousands place. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at B. So this time we're not adding, we are taking away. We are taking away a 10,000. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find the 10,000s place. Which digit is in the 10,000s place? Well, hopefully you said the 2. So I'm going to take away 1 from the 10,000s place. So now instead of having two 10,000s, I'm only going to have 1. So my new number will be 11,195. Let's take a look at C. So I have 999,000 plus 1,000. I'm going to draw a place value chart down here. And you don't have to draw this place value chart. I just want you to look at this place value chart with me. Okay, because we're going to talk about what happens whenever you add 1,000 to this number. This number is kind of special because it has all of these nines. So I have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and then I have millions. I hope that you can read that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put nine in the hundred thousands. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine in the ten thousands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine in the thousands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have no hundreds, no tens, and no ones. Now it says that I'm adding a thousand. So I'm going to come in here in red and I'm going to add a thousand. So look at what happens. I have nine hundred thousands, nine ten thousands, and I have ten thousands. So how would I read that number? Nine hundred ninety ten. That doesn't sound right, does it? That doesn't sound right because it's not right. We shouldn't have two digits here. We learned from lesson one that when I have 10 to the place to the right, I can bundle those 10. So let's bundle these 10 and I can move it to the left. So I'm gonna move it to the left and I'm gonna add one to the 10 thousands. So now, instead of having 10 thousands, and nine ten thousands. Now I'm going to have zero thousands because I bundled them all together and I'm going to have ten ten thousands. So let's see how you read that. Nine hundred ten thousand. Hmm. Nine hundred ten thousand doesn't sound right, does it? We need to bundle these 10 together 
and we need to move it to the left. So now I'm going to have, instead of 10 10 thousands, now I'm going to have zero because I bundled them together. And instead of having 900 thousands, now I have 10 hundred thousands and zero ten thousands. So here again, I have 10 in this one place value. So I'm going to bundle these 10 together and I'm going to move it to the left. So now, instead of having 10 hundred thousands, I'm going to have zero hundred thousands and one million. I still have no hundreds, no tens, and no ones. So when I take 999,000 and I add 1,000, I get this number, which is one million. Okay, let's take a look at D. D is a little bit simpler. So again, we're going to take a look at our, um, our symbol here. Our symbol says minus. So that means I'm going to take away. I'm going to take away 100,000. So which of these digits is in the 100,000s place? Well, that would be the 1, right? So if I take away that 1, I'm going to be left with no 100,000s. So I could write this number with a 0 here. But usually when there's a 0 here, we leave that blank and we just go with the 10,000s. So our new number is 29,231. Okay, we're going to skip E and F for right now and come back to those in a minute. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to 4A, and we're going to fill in the empty boxes to complete the patterns. So we're looking for patterns. We're looking for changes in the numbers. So right now they've given us three numbers. What do you notice about these numbers? How are they alike? How are they different? Well, I hope you said that they are different in the 10,000s place. If that's what you said, you are correct. If you look here, this was 5 in the 10,000s place, and now it has a 7 in the 10,000s place and a 9 in the 10,000s place. So if I was going to fill in the next number, it looks like this goes from 5, and then it skips and goes to 7. So are the numbers getting bigger or are they getting smaller? They're getting bigger, right? So we're adding a 10,000. So if I add 1 to this 10,000, instead of having 150,000s, I would have 160,000s, 10, because nothing's going to change in the hundreds place, in the tens place. All right, so let's try the next one. So let's add one more to the 10,000s place. That would give us... 180,000, 10. And then if we added one more, we would have 190,000. So now here we have one of those nines. So I know if I add one more to nine, I'm going to end up with 10. But anytime I have a group of 10, I'm going to bundle and I'm going to move it to the place to the left. So instead of having 10 in the 10,000s place, I'm going to have 2 in the hundreds hundred thousands place. So I'm going to have two hundred thousands. I'm going to have no ten thousands because I bundled them all. No thousands, no hundreds, one ten, and no ones. So it says explain in pictures, numbers or words, how you found your answers. So it's not asking us to come through here and say how we got this answer and this answer and this answer. It's basically wanting to know how did we know how to fill these in. I'm going to use words this time. I could draw a place value chart and show how they're adding 10,000 every time. That would work, but I'm just going to use words this time. And I'm going to say, I found my answers. by adding 1 to the 10,000s place. That's my dog. I don't know what she's doing. Add 1 to the 10,000s place. That's, a, that's an apostrophe, by the way. All right, so let's take a look at B. OK, 
Okay, so this time, let's look at the numbers. We're looking for patterns. How are these numbers the same? And how are they different? Well, I noticed that the last three digits are the same. Actually, the last four, actually the last five, the last five digits are the same in all of these numbers. The only place that's changing is the largest place, which happens to be the hundred thousands. Are the numbers getting bigger or are they getting smaller? They're getting smaller. So instead of adding, we are taking away. What are we taking away? We are taking away 100,000. So if I have 800,000 here and 700,000 here, I want you to see if you can do these two places all by yourself. Pause the video and see if you can figure out how to do that and then come back. Okay, so hopefully you pause the video and you wrote answers very close to mine. You can see that the only place that I changed was the hundred thousands. I went from eight hundred thousands to seven hundred thousands to six hundred thousands to five hundred thousands, then it would be four hundred thousands. Now, when I do this very first number, I'm going to have to work backwards because I'm not really taking away a hundred thousand. When I go to the very first one to figure out what this is, I would actually have to add a hundred thousand. I want you to think. Think about what number you think goes there. Let's go ahead and pause the video and see if you can't figure it out. Okay, did you figure out that the very first number was 998,756? I had to work backwards, so instead of subtracting 100,000, I added 100,000. So again, I have to explain in pictures, numbers, or words how you found your answers. So this time, just for fun, I'm going to use numbers. Now, I don't have to figure out, I don't have to show numbers how I solved every one of these, but I am going to show how I went from 798,000 to 698,000. So I'm going to say 798,756. And every time I was taking away how much? I was taking away 100,000 equals 698,756. So I'm also going to just go ahead and say the pattern is 100,000 less. That's what the pattern is. Every number is 100,000 less. Okay, now we're going to go back to the very front of your problem set, and we're going to go back to problem 1C. So I want you to go ahead and fill in your place value chart, and then come back after you've written your labels, and let's check together. Okay, so let's check our labels. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on here. 230,070 is blank than 130,070. So we could do this one of two ways. We could start with 130,070 and change it to 230,070, or we could start with 230,000 and change it. So let's go ahead and start with this one since it's at the beginning. So we've got 200,000, three ten thousands, no thousands, no hundreds, seven tens, and no ones. So we're going from 230,070 to 130,070. So what happened? Did they add to the number or did they take away? Well, look at how these numbers are different. They change in the hundred thousands place. The hundred thousands place decreases by one. So I'm going to change to red here. So they actually took 100,000 away so that instead of having 200,000, they would have 100,000. So what would we say here? We have 230,070 is blank than 130,070. Is, is 230,070 more or is it less? What's well, more? How much more is it? It's actually 100,000 more, and it's okay to abbreviate that. So let's see if that makes sense. 230,070 is 100,000 more than 130,070 because we actually had to take 100,000 away to get to the last number. All right, so now we're going to number two. 
So we're going to use the RDWW process. Read, draw, write a number sentence, write a word sentence. Lucy plays an online math game. She scored 100,000 more points on level 2 than on level 3. If she scored 349,867 points on level 2, then what was her score on level 3? Use pictures, words, or numbers to explain your thinking. Well, since I'm here in a comparison, I'm thinking we could use a tape diagram. We could compare level 2 to level 3. It tells us here that she scored 349,867 points on level 2. So I'm going to go ahead and label this 349,867 points. It tells us she scored 100,000 more points on level 2 than on level 3. So that tells me that level 3 should actually be less. It should be 100,000 less. So what kind of number sentence would I write to show what the answer is here? Am I adding these two numbers? If I add them, is it going to give me a smaller number? No, I need to subtract. I need to take 349,867 minus 100,000. So I've learned in this lesson today that if I take away 100,000, I can go right to the 100,000's place and I can subtract one. So instead of 3, I'm going to have 2. So my answer is going to be 200. 49,867. So now I'm ready to write a, no a word sentence that answers the question. The question was, what was her score on level 3? So I would say Lucy's score on level 3 was 249,000 867 points. Okay, so now we're going to go back to number three, but this time we're going to do E and F. Now you'll notice that E and F are written a little bit differently. Look at where your equal sign is. Here we have, we have an add-in plus an add-in equals a sum. Add-in plus add-in equals sum. Here we have sum equals add-in plus add in. So we have to figure out what did they add to 22,000 to get 122,000. So it's kind of like we're working backwards. You could think of this problem as this. So if I erased really quickly, this problem is the same as 22,000 plus blank equals 122,000. They just wrote the sum first. What did they add here? What changed? Well, all of the last five digits are the same. But in this number, we had no hundred thousands, and in this number, we have 100,000. So they added 100,000. <laughs> Sorry, my cat and my dog are chasing each other right now. They don't care that I'm making a video. All right, so let's take a look at the last one here. So this is the same way, okay? So we can think of this as 39,018 minus blank equals 38,018. So what changed in these two numbers? The thousands place, right? Did it increase or decrease? It decreased. That's why we have the subtraction. It decreased by 1,000. So my answer here is 1,000. Okay, now we're going to go to problem number 4C. And again, we are finding a pattern. So let's take a look at what has changed. Our 7 and our 4 are the same in every single number. The digit that has changed is the thousands place. So here it's four, here it's three. I bet you can figure out what this number is and this number is. And this is a bonus. See if you can figure out this one by yourself. It's a little bit tricky, but I bet you can do it. If you get stuck, just press play. 
All right, so let's take a look at the first two. So we, I'm just decreasing the number by 1,000. So here we had 743,369. This is 742,369, 741,369, 740,369. Did you figure out what the last one is? It would be 739,369. You actually had to change both of these digits because nothing comes before zero. So you had to think to yourself what comes before 40, which would be 39. So, okay, I'm going to have to let the cat out. Okay, so again, we can use pictures, numbers, or words to say how we found our answers. Let's go with words, and let's just say here that the numbers, are they increasing or decreasing? Well, because they're getting smaller, they are decreasing. The numbers decrease by, what are they decreasing by? Well, since they're changing in the thousands place, they decrease by... 1,000 each time. All right, one more problem. All right, so again, let's take a look at what's changing here. Now, this one's a little bit tricky because we don't have the first one, and then we're missing these two here in the middle. So we almost have to work backwards. I'm noticing here that I have a 7 in the 10 thousands place, and here I have an 8 in the 10 thousands place. So if I work backwards, what do you think would be here? If this is 7 and this is 8, then this would be 9. So we're adding 1 to the 10 thousands place. Okay? But if I try to add 1 to the 10 thousands place, that's going to give me a 10. So what happens when I get a 10? I'm going to bundle it, right? So if I have 10 in the 10 thousands place, if this is my ten thousands, what is to the left of it? Hundred thousands. So if I bundle these ten and move it to the hundred thousands, now I'm going to have one hundred thousand, no ten thousands. How many thousands am I going to have? I'm still going to have eight, and then I'm going to have nine hundreds, one ten, and no ones. There shouldn't be commas here. All right, so a number is 108,910. Okay, so we're still just adding 1,000. So look at this one. We went from 7 to 8 to 9 to 10, or you could say we went back to 0. Here we're back to 1, or you could think of this as 11, 11 10 thousands. So what would this be? If this is 11, then this would be 12 ten thousands, eight thousands, nine hundreds, one ten, zero ones. Or you could think of it just changing in the thousands place. So the hundred thousands stayed the same and the ten thousands changed. So this time let's use words. Were the numbers increasing or decreasing as you went this way? We worked it backwards, but if you go the right way, what's happening to the numbers? They are decreasing. So we're going to say the numbers decreased by, and which place were they decreasing in? They were decreasing in this place, and this is the ten thousands, by ten thousand each time. So remember today, we were talking about adding one hundred, 1,000 or 100,000, or decreasing numbers by 1,000, 10,000, or 100,000. So hopefully you can remember to do that when you pass your exit ticket.